Hi folks, this is Dave Galley from Bring Gain Recruiting and Sourcing Certifications. I just wanted to demo a really cool idea that uh, my business partner Irina had posted about in her Boolean Strings blog last week. Uh, the blog title from July 9th was Who Are You? The Art of Cross-Referencing uh, GitHub Example. So if you want to find that, I highly encourage you to go read it if you haven't already. And the idea here is how can we very efficiently take partial data from one site and enrich it using uh, cross-referencing to another. Uh, and in this case, we're going from GitHub to LinkedIn. And the complication is here is that often when you collect information from GitHub, you don't have a full picture of who these people really are. And you don't want to mass message, say, you know, a thousand people from GitHub if you don't actually know what their current title and company and, you know, uh, career status is. Uh, whereas if you cross-reference against LinkedIn, then you can you know, get a fuller picture of them, segment it down, and just message the right people from that group. Uh, but if you start from LinkedIn, it could take a long time to build your list, and you have some other limiting factors. So by going from one to the other, we get a much faster, more efficient process. Uh, so starting uh, from Google, I'm going to use two tools. Uh, email Extractor, which is a tool built by our other uh, business partner, Julia. Uh, it's a fantastic email collection tool, probably the, the best one out there, um, bias notwithstanding. And a tool to m open multiple links within a selected area of a web page. So uh, I'm going to use these two tools, uh, plus Microsoft Excel, plus LinkedIn, plus GitHub, and of course a Google search. So really small ingredient list there. Everything's free. Everything can be used by literally anyone. Uh, so I run my Google search, in this case a basic site search of GitHub, uh, looking for author's files relating to Kubernetes, which is like a uh, cloud deployment type technology. And there's not a ton of results, but there's enough for my purposes. Uh, really, for any given project, you'd only expect to see one author's file. In this case, there's some other related projects too, it looks like. Uh, so you'll see um, my email extractor. We click on this little envelope icon to start it running. And this is going to collect uh, every email from every open tab on uh, my browser. So I'm going to close a few tabs so it doesn't get, uh, collect any extra data here. And then I am going to highlight the links that I want Link Clump to open for me. don't want all these image links to open up and you'll see these opening up in the background and as they load you will see the numbers going up on email extractor uh, email extractor you don't necessarily have to visit every tab you open it'll just work on all of them in the background I like to run through them all once and I'm just using the control page down uh, hotkey in Chrome to do it uh, just to make sure it grabs everything. Every once in a while, a little miss a tab. It doesn't load properly. So that just guarantees. But you can see the numbers didn't change much. Uh, so I grabbed pretty much every one in one shot there. So uh, I'm going to now close these extra tabs so they don't clutter everything up. And I'm going to click uh, on Email Extractor to stop it running. And then uh, that will be all in my clipboard. And I could paste these emails in. You'll see it also grabbed mine because I was logged into Google. Uh, let's delete that row and uh, make sure I don't have any extra data lying around. So when you import into LinkedIn, uh, the way I'm about to show you, you want to have a CSV file and you want it to be populated with these three columns first, last, and email. I use like fake emails that can be very easily uh, imported uh, or rather fake first and last names with real emails <laughs> so that when you do the import you can very easily see which batch of importing they were from okay uh, so I will take these I will save my CSV and then I will go back to my browser and I will go to LinkedIn and in LinkedIn I'll go to my network tab and I will go to my contacts and I will add more contacts and I'll upload my file, uh, which I've done in advance uh, so that you don't have to sit here waiting for the file to load. It doesn't take too long, but uh, 
didn't feel like you'd want to sit here waiting for it to work. And you can see the people with the fake GitHub last name who are not connected, uh, where they uh, rather where the email was not found um, connecting to a LinkedIn profile. They just had this little stub and the people who were matched where the email matched the email on a LinkedIn profile are all here and visible. And we can quickly see, you know, title, headline, company, all this stuff. I've imported myself before, so you could see me there. Um, and that's it. Uh, so now you've cross-referenced 400 people who all wrote something on, uh, and published it to GitHub, who all wrote code, published to GitHub about Kubernetes. And we can see some are students and some are managers and some are infrastructure engineers. And these are the people we're really targeting probably. And uh, we could just, you know, connect, message, do whatever, now that they're in our contacts. The other cool thing is when you import people, um, you can connect with them without exceeding your weekly uh, invite to connect limit. So bonus, <laughs> uh, we get a little workaround for our invite limit too. So that's it, that's the whole idea. Um, we just run a search, uh, open all the results, uh, collect all the emails from them, import them to LinkedIn and see who matches. And any email with a matching profile, we now know the profile, the email, uh, and of course, whatever's on the profile. So we have cross-referenced or linked, you know, one to the other very quickly. And we can directly email rather than relying on emails any of these people, because now we know who they are. Quick and easy. Thanks for watching. Happy sourcing. Bye now.